Nah, we're chillin', we're chillin'. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Alright, she's going Corrupting Pot. Eh, whatever. That's- that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine, bros. What's up, Veer? What did you do? Sun-dried liver. The problem is it's half dried, half not. Oh, just trust me, bro. Yeah, just trust me, bro. 908 LP. God fucking damn, dude. What is your act your actual eventual goal? Got another account also to challenge her? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. It's always better to have like two challenger accounts and then go. Or two accounts at whatever rank you're at. As opposed to like scratching and clawing your way to get another 100 LP. I think there are two challenger trinomers. Which is really funny that everybody thinks that there is... That, like, Trinimer is so OP, right? So there must be all these Trin mains in Challenger. But there's less Trin mains in Challenger right now than there normally is. There's normally, like, three. At least. If not more. What's good, my friend, Zemeki? Banger. That's fine. Zed will take a massive wave. He also has flash right now, too. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? What is that? Because I get the assist, too. Six, indeed. Try using resolve secondary. That's what I do normally, yeah. You mean resolve secondary with phase rush? No, 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 no. Nice, got that. Oh my god. Go mid after your reset. I promise Trendemir will be banned soon.
I like how turret diving. Auto attack the turret, you know. Just do a little auto attacking. <laughs> Alright. Fucking 10 dash O. I mean, why would I go resolve with phase rush? Because I'd be losing not only last stand, which is OP, but I still have tenacity. Still have tenacity. Maybe. Maybe last stand isn't that important. Because unflinching is similar to legend tenacity. Except it's better later. I mean, you know, you know, I just haven't been that low recently. But it's always a good reserve. We'll see how much it does after the first, like, major kill. Yeah, no, we're talking about in the context of phase rush. Yasuke is on. What's up, Teampo? Average Teampo enjoyer. I drive phase rush as well. Um, yeah. I would first try to try it in matchups where it's just obviously good. Cause like I'm I'm swapping back and forth between them right now. Because, I mean, in some cases, uh, Phase Rush scales better than Lethal. Because it, it lets you get kills on carries that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Depends on, like, the game state. Or, like, what kind of team comp you're going against. Weebs stop becoming weebs if you increase their testosterone. Nah, there's some pretty- like, they just start watching Dragon Ball Z instead of watching fucking Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know, I can't think of like a stereotypical like weeber anime. Example of where Phase Rush is better? A uh, great example would be Cassiopeia. It depends on, like, what you're going against lane-wise and team comp-wise. So, like, these champions are gonna kite me a lot. I want to have uh, supreme sticking power right now. Because if I have sticking power, then I kill. Also, with the build that I go, I have ult up before she does. Because I rush so much CDR. Like, what's her ult cooldown? 130? 120. So yeah, my ult will be up a solid. I don't know. Lethal in the top lane is pretty much mandatory. There's some matchups where, like, if you're going against a Quinn, it seems kind of troll to go tempo. A lot of ranged top lane matchups are very similar in the sense of you'll be better off going um, phase rush. And against a duelist, you can't go phase? I mean, yeah, I agree. That lethal is just going to be better there.
LMAO. LMAO, dude. Yeah, congrats on being 900 LP. Nah, we're chillin', we're chillin'. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Ho ho! That's why you have Nimbus Cloak. Nimbus Cloak got me that. Cause, you know, it's OP. That's also another aspect about Lethal Tempos, or uh, Lethal Tempo versus Phase Rush, is that I don't think you can ever go Ignite with Tempo. But if you take Phase Rush, then it's a lot better to go Ignite. And there's a lot of value of going Ignite. <sighs> yeah, I just flash for the movement speed, yeah. Yeah, it turns Ignite into a mini ghost. Also with a procking phase rush. And especially when it comes for killing a hard tank, tempo is always gonna be better. But for killing a um a champion like Graves, like it it could do a lot. Well I mean Graves is an example is not the best of an example when it comes to champions who aren't tanky. What do you mean for a carry? Because not only are you reducing all healing on them, which is huge, but Ignite actually did get pretty significant damage buffs, um, especially comparatively for levels. That's fun. And but up It's just a body right there, not I should have just ran to my Zed. I don't know what I was doing. Your build is so cheap? Yes, that's another good aspect, is that it's it's very cheap, fast power spikes. Oh. Oh damn. I'm sure he still got the XP for it though, which is good. Yeah, so we'll get that there. Well, it's not doing too hot. Let's eat another piece of raw liver. Because we can. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Wait, this bitch has no ult. Let's go. Oh, hey, it doesn't matter that I get charms, because charms slow you, and phase rush gives slow resistance. I've pretty much always thought that Gore Drinker was bad, even when it was, like, busted OP. What's up, bruh? It's a very nice day right now. I think that's a really good example of a problem that I'm probably gonna make a video about, which is... The concept of shiny new toy syndrome. Whenever there's a new toy, a new item, that can vaguely be built on Trinomir, people will build it. Doesn't matter how good it is. Gore Drinker is the new OP item. Everybody's gonna build Gore Drinker every situation, no matter what. Without thinking about the context of, okay, maybe this might be good sometimes, but then they'll just use it every time. Similar thing with Holebreaker. You you see so many people in general right now, not, a, not necessarily on Trinomir, but in general, picking Holebreaker 
and then they group 24 7. They p they'll pick a champion like Nar, and they'll be in a losing situation. And then the whole breaker doesn't help them win the split. So they don't split. So they just lose. And it's the same thing with Trinimir in general right now, too, is that Trinimir is the shiny new toy in pro play. That Trinimir is going to... Trinimir is played in a lot of situations right now where he's not good. But because it's the new thing that people are just thinking about, they're just going to pick Trinimir in situations where it's not quite necessarily the best thing. So it's just the problem of like... Good way that LS put it one time in a similar framing is that... Pros will say that they don't have time to learn a new champion that could be really OP. Uh, but then the second a new champion comes out, they're ready to play it two days later on stage. So it's like, it's not actually that they can't learn how to play like Soraka mid or Hecarim mid or something. It's that it's, if, if Hecarim came out today, all mid laners would be trying to play it like mid lane. And they would learn it like that. They would learn it instantly. Whereas because Hecarim is an old champion, people aren't going to, it's not a shiny new toy. It's like you're taking the uh, the bargain bin toy that's actually really sleep. Like you're 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 going to Goodwill to get toys, and like it's not a new toy, it, but it's a really good toy. But because it's not new, you're not like, oh yeah, I want to do everything with this toy. You're like, eh, maybe you know, I don't know. I kind of want the new toy. Like that's that's how people go with both Trinomir, which would really just everything. Trinimir pro play, trend items, Trinimir in general, new champions. Ugh. Yeah, it sucks that since it's such a nice, beautiful, windy day, my liver is getting dried up. Yeah, I don't feel super confident in that. We should honestly just Baron on spawn. Spring break is starting soon for me. Nice. Nice. Cause we wanna, we wanna force this. All right, thank you guys all for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. That was just an absolute banger of a phase rush game. Showing you a great example. And look, it's a, uh, I am activating phase rush IRL right now. Just gotta go fast, gotta go windy. See you guys, have a wonderful day. Goodbye, and good night.